separate screencast to introduce you to CoCalc. So you should have gotten an email from CoCalc um, inviting you to uh, inviting you to create an account that's linked to our course. Um, for your account, it's very important that you use your Mount Holyoke email address. Right now, I'm using a different email address because I've created a student account for myself using a non-MHC address. So you can see, so what I'm logging in um, right now, I should see in the screencast what you will see. All right, so let me just finish doing that. Hopefully this is the right password, loading. So when you log on, hopefully it will be quick, <laughs> quicker than this maybe, um, and you'll want to go to assignment one. You should see that. Um, if you don't see that, you might have to click on projects and Math 120 roster, and that should get you to assignment one. Um, for some reason, I have to click on that twice. And then you should see this worksheet. So it's called Parametrized Box, and it contains a template for your assignment. And this file extension .sage WS stands for Sage Worksheet. So click on the worksheet to open it, and you can see what I've put in there for you. Um, comments are preceded by a hashtag. So this is a comment here. Um, here is an example of how to plot a line. So the line that we're going to plot, the way you'd write it in your homework, is like this. So C of t is t, and x, the first x-coordinate function is t, the y-coordinate function is t plus 1, and the z-coordinate function is 3t plus 2, and the parameter t varies from 0 to 1. So before you plot a function, you need to, um, you need to declare your variables, and this is the variable declaration, and we only need to do it once, so now it's done for the whole worksheet. Um, here is a code to plot this line C of T, so we don't use the name C. Um, the parametric plot code is parametric plot 3D, and the format is that the functions come first in parentheses, so T, T plus 1, and 3T plus 2. Note that even though we read 3t as 3 times t, Sage will need 3 star t um, to read it as 3 times t, or else you'll get an error code. Um, this next thing in parentheses is saying, my variable is t, my variable is t, I want it to start at 0 and end at 1. Um, this is saying that the thickness of the line, I made it 5, so it's a little thicker than it would normally print. Um, to the screen and the color is green, you can change the color to other things you want. Um, after you've got a statement like that, to see the picture associated to it, you want to click the green button run and then Sage will produce this. I already ran this, so that's why it, it, um, when I created it, that's why you saw this already. And then um, to include multiple plots in the same frame, you need to give them a name. So this is just I'm repeating the code above, but I'm giving it the name P1. And then I'm, um, I've changed the function of the line, so the parameterization of the line here, and I've colored it red so we can distinguish the original from the um, new one. I'm calling it P2. And um, to plot both of them, oops, at the same time, ah, where'd it go? Sorry, guys. Um, I type p1 plus p2, and that is the command that says print those two curves to the screen. And so when I run all of this, I get my first curve, which is coming from, so this first window here comes from this command. And then if I scroll down, um, what I see here is p1, the curves p1 and p2 plotted in the same frame, okay? So for your assignment, I want you to <laughs> do this 12 times. So you can name your curves P1 through P12 or something more creative, um, and then plot them all so you have a box. All right, and then you should save it. And then, I'm actually not sure what you do next. I don't think you want to share it. What you want to do is somehow hand it in to me. Maybe if you just... I'm actually not sure. Well, make sure you save it. I think I'll be able to see it on my end 
when you do that. If not, I will give you further instructions later. All right, that's it for this screencast.